bottom of this, and it was definitely gonna be bigger. But you know, like I said, you know, I got my insider, and and my insider let me know allegedly that um, it was his own homeboys, man, and it was his homeboy that that's the one that, that, that snaked him. And like we, like I just keep on saying, this slime culture, this snake culture, you know what I'm saying, is foul. And the lesson that we all gotta learn is this, man: you gotta watch the people that you're around. And you know what I mean? And, and you cannot put your trust into everybody. Like Mo3 said, everybody's not your friend. Everybody ain't your partner. And allegedly, Baby Plug, he's also from East Atlanta. He was in, you know, L.A. And this is the one that, you know, that, that snaked him, you know, that put the work in on him. And it's just, you know, it's real sad. And he also, you know, has, you know, somebody, his other boy with him. You know, and it's just, it's just, it's just real crazy, man. And this is all alleged, like I said. But, you know, I got my source, and I really think my source is, is kicking real fast. And I'm going to keep on saying allegedly because, you know, like I said, everything is alleged and it's hearsay. But, you know, they saying that uh, Scar for the plug, he had gave, you know, baby plug the pistol, you know what I mean, to rob folks in L.A. And I don't know how this all got switched up, you know what I'm saying, how how the pistol ended up getting turned on Scarfo. But, you know, the inside, you know, they just letting us know that they... Baby Plug, he was he was down, you know what I'm saying? He was on something else. And and then I had another story saying that a watch was involved and that, you know, they they blamed Scarfo, you know what I mean? And they, they pushed him out the car and left him on the side of the road. So like I said, we got a few stories, man. But like I said, we're gonna get to the bottom of this. And y'all, man, y'all just let me know what y'all think about this situation because like I said, you gotta watch your friends. You gotta watch them because these these two was in the studio just two weeks ago. And they both from the same hood. So like I said, y'all just, you know, y'all just gotta watch, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation. It's your boy Trey Six Hundo Quinn TV. I'm out. Let's go. Hey, we ain't moving out here with no direction. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We young niggas, but we're very smart. Mm -hmm. So tell me this last question, man. Where did you get your name from, Scarfo the Club? Scarfo. Scarfo was a youngest mom boss, little Nicky Scarfo. You know what I'm saying? I'm young, you know what I'm saying? When I came, I started rapping, I was 19, 18. They're going about to turn 19, so I was um I was 19, but however I was young and I just felt like I was a young. So I was coming in as a boss, no no sign. I wasn't signed and nothing. My own money. I had a brand new charger. It was 2016. I had 2016. You know what I'm saying? Charger. You know what I'm saying? SRT. All that, all, all that shit. So yeah, I'm gonna push my own bag and get front it. So I just I'm a boss. So that's how I, I took the name. I was a young. I always felt like I was a young boss. And I was, I was doing everything for myself. Like my first tape I did, front page live mixtapes, all that. Yeah. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I, I was, you know what I'm saying, the culture embracing, you know what I'm saying? Embracing what I had to go on, it was real. So, I'm the plug. Yeah, so, I'm the plug. Yeah, I'm the plug. <laughs> so, so, so for uh, Scarfo, you said that was a uh, mob, like a Italian mob? Yeah, Italian mob boss in, in the, from the Philadelphia mob boss. Little Nicky Scarfo. Nicodemo Scarfo. I, you know what I'm saying? You, you can tell from my mind, you know what I'm saying? I'm built different, man. I, I'm into stuff like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. So. <laughs>